Hello and welcome to webmethods.io B2B video tutorials. In this video, we will learn about asset migration. In this video, we will understand asset migration, also known as asset movement. With the help of a demo, we will then see how to migrate assets from one tenant to another tenant. And then we will learn how to deploy the code using asset movement setup. So let us begin. With asset migration feature, you can migrate assets from one tenant to another. There are two ways of doing it. One, by using a zip file containing the assets you want to migrate. And second, applying assets from an available deployment in your environment. This can be done with the help of import, export and deploy functionalities. Let us see how. For this video, we will use two tenants where for demo purpose, I will export a zip file from one tenant and then import it to another tenant. To do so, on the enterprise profile, go to asset migration, then export and then select the asset you want to migrate. In this case, it is Cigna Hospital. As you can see, the include dependencies option is selected by default. You can clear this option by unchecking if you do not want the dependent assets to be included in the export file. For this video, I will be exporting few assets, so I will check this once again. Let us export business document and processing rule that we had created in our previous videos. So I will go to business documents and select document 2 and then processing rule ABC Medcare 2 Cigna Hospital Outbound AS2. And now click on Add to export list. Once done, click on next. Then again on next. Now name this file. Let us call this sample deploy. Now click on finish. As you can see, export file has been created and also been downloaded. Now on the second tenant, using the same process, let us import the files. To do so, again go to Asset Migration and this time click on Import. Select Import from a zip file and then select the file that you had just downloaded that is Sample Deploy and then open it. Click on Next and then on import. You have two options to select from. One is force import or attach import summary with activity log. I'll go with force import. Uncheck the second option and click on proceed. As you can see, the import activity is successfully completed. To understand how to use create a new deployment, instead of exporting a file using export from a zip file, on the enterprise profile, under asset migration, go to export and then once again repeat the process by selecting Cigna Hospital. This time I will not select the dependencies and simply say add to export list. Then click on next, next. Here, select create a new deployment. Let us call it new deployment. And then check publish deployment to an environment. Select target environment. Since we registered dedicated VPC2 in our registering environment video, it will show up here. Select the registered environment that is dedicated VPC2. Provide username and password and then click on finish. With this, you have successfully created a new deployment. As you can see, new deployment is showing under the deployment step. Another quick way to deploy an asset is by clicking on available deployments. When you click on available deployments, a list of available deployments appear in front of you. Select the one you want to deploy. I'll select sample deploy here and then click on next.
As you can see, assets have been successfully deployed. Under partner profiles, there is Signa Hospital. Under business documents, there is document 2 and, and so on. I hope you now have a clear idea about what asset migration is and how to migrate assets from one tenant to another. Thank you for watching this video.